see all of you, amen, in the house of God today, amen. How many know it's a good day? How many know it's a good day because it's Father's Day? Do I have a few fathers in the house? Do I have a few spiritual fathers in the house? Do I have somebody understand that it's my responsibility to raise my family right? Not too many people today, amen. Amen. Um, we just thank the Lord for all of you coming to church on today. We pray that you would uh, come and let the Lord minister unto you. Uh huh. And we just thank the Lord for his provision, for him making a way for us to bring us to this place. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Thank you. Father, we just thank you right now for all that you're doing in our church. God, let our words be spoken, received today. Father, we ask you to change and transition, transform and transfigure us. Father, we just love you today. And we ask you to help us to please you. In Jesus' name. Come on, say amen. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. As you know, we've been in a series on a window of repentance. Somebody say, a window, a window. of repentance. I need for you to understand, I was moving on, amen, but the Lord wouldn't let me move on. And he wanted me to tell you that you need to be excited because the window's still open. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yesterday we, 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 we unfortunately had to say goodbye to someone yesterday, but guess what? How look, the window's still open for us today. And you got to understand, while I have breath, I'm going to be striving to get through through the window. Somebody say, get through the window. I want you to understand today, this window represents how short your life could be. In other words, the window is closing and you got to get through before it closes. And so today, I want you to, to help me understand what God is speaking to us in this season. I want you to understand today, God gave us a text, John 14 to, if you can go to John 14, the Gospel of John. John is the one called the Beloved. Yeah. I need for you to understand that you got to be around people that are beloved. Yeah. Yeah. See, you got to learn how to cultivate a culture for God to come in. Oh, yeah. y'all ain't yeah. hearing me. See, you can't be around anybody and expect for God to use you. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me today. John 14 2 says, in my father's house. In my father's house. Come on, y'all don't talk to me today. Say, in my father's house. Come on, tell somebody, in my father's house. There are many. See, some of y'all think y'all poor, but you don't understand. My father got a whole lot of money. Come on, don't look at me like that. You don't know who my father is. That's with me, I'm gonna go get my dad. The text says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And today I would like for us to exalt our father today with the message entitled, I'm coming back home. Amen. Could you tell your neighbor I'm coming back home? Coming back home. Could you tell somebody, come on, anybody ever been put out of the house? I wish I had somebody. Hey, tell somebody I'm coming back home. I need for you to understand, home is where you belong. I need for you to understand this today, that some of you think you came to church. But what you really did was come back home. Um, some of us, you understand, you went away on vacation. Uh, come on, you, you went away and come on, you went to work all week. But, but ain't it just good when you can just come back home? Because when I can come back home, I know that I'm in Father's house. And when I'm in Father's house, uh, everything on the outside just got to leave me alone. Because in the presence of my Father, there is the fullness of joy. Oh, somebody ought to start getting your joy back in your spirit back up because I'm in Father's so I'll tell you never thank God I'm in Father's house. In my Father's house, amen, there are many mansions. I want you to understand today, church, we must realize that we're at home now. This is the place 
where you can be who God called you to be. When you come in here, you start getting uh, conformed. Yes, Lord. You start being processed into the image of God. Yes, Lord. In other words, when you come here, you can act just like that. Yes, yes. Because the world want to change how you act. The world want to change your name. But when I come to the Father's house, there's many rooms, there's many mansions. Amen. Yeah. Mansions, come on. I want to talk just a little bit. Sometimes, watch this, when we grow up don't mean we got to grow out. Y'all ain't hearing me today. Sometimes when you start growing up, you don't have to grow out from what Father taught you. You can still live in accordance to train a child in the way. Oh, somebody say it's Father's Day. Now I want you to understand my assignment today is to get us to appreciate where we are right here today. All right. Because um, tomorrow you won't go out and it don't guarantee that you'll be able Come back. Thank you. Come on. Sometimes we take so much for granted that what will be will always be. If the window's open today, I can put it off until tomorrow. And if I can just do it next week, no. Skip through the window while it is open. But no man knows the day nor the hour when it's going to shut off. I want us to appreciate that I'm in the house. Tell your neighbor, stop your neighbor and say, I'm back in the house. Been through a lot of time. I'm back in the house. I had some disappointments, but I'm back in the house. I had some setbacks, but I'm back in the house. I fell down, but I got back up. Tell your neighbor, I'm back in the house. Uh, it's, it's so good to see. Granny, you back in the house. Amen. You look good. Amen. That's because you're living good. Amen. Don't you let nobody come in and stress your life. Amen. You got to understand that God has given us an assignment. Amen. I need for you to get this. God says even now in Father's house, this is where we all need to be. Yes. I'm really afraid to find out where you are on Sunday. <laughs> when you're supposed to be in the house. I know that you, you, you're on vacation, but, but when you come off your vacation, you need to some, I, I'm like Dorothy, there's no place like home. <laughs> Something you need to just click your spiritual heels and get your life right back in. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Watch this, let me just teach you a minute if I can. Mansions are homes. Yes. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Somebody say mansions. mansions. Let's practice that. Say mansions. 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 And, and watch this. Now, in man the mansions are houses. So, in my father's house, he got many houses. Yes. Somebody say houses. 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 See, you keep worrying about a house, and he's talking houses. houses. You got to learn how to change your vernacular. <laughs> I need you to understand. He says, in my father's house, there are many houses. Houses equate to room. Yes, I need for you to get what God is saying to you, us today. He said rooms are dwelling places. Uh -huh. Rooms are uh, places to stay. Yeah. Rooms, watch this, are places to reside. Yeah. In other words, watch what God is really talking to us. When you get all of that together, what God is saying to us is that there's enough room in him for all of us to come worship him and get 